G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about basic material texturing. We'll be setting up a normal color, specular, and even a alpha texture within a uh, octane render within Maya. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, this will only take about five minutes, hopefully. Um, so, whoops. Let's just go back to. Uh, so here we have our scene. What we want to do is select the face you want. Now, bear in mind, you have to UV wrap it. As painful as Maya's UV wrapping is, you have to UV wrap it. So, let's just uh, make this a bit better. Make sure there's no repeating. Alright, that seems good. So, what we're going to do is right click, add new material, go to Octane Render Materials, let's click a Glossy. Call it floor. Floor. And we're going to click on the diffuse checkered box. So the diffuse checkered box. We're going to click on the file. Not any of these, just Octane image file. We're going to click on the image, go to our, where our scene is at. And we're going to click on the texture that we want. And just click, just hit 6 just to see it. And as you can see, it's, it's rendering nicely. I mean, it's previewing nicely. Next, we want to click on our rendering. Refresh that a bit. And here we have our rendered image nice color texture. Let's just turn down the gloss, the roughness and while we're at it, the specular well not the specular, keep the specular high up put the glossy now we are going to add um, a specular so, oh wait, yeah specular, so click on specular same process again click through we're going to go to your file and we're going to click on a specular file refresh okay and we can even change the power the gamma I forgot to mention that so let's go back to the we can change the gamma ring on that and the specular to isn't that cool? Let's just quickly change the uh, rendering engine quickly. So, well, I'm going to quickly just just so we can see better. That's better. Um, so that is good. Next, we want to add a normal. So you click on the uh, run the file, the object. Go to normal. Click the checkered box. Click on octane image texture. Click on the file, and we're going to go to a normal image that I created in Endu, the free version. And here we now have the normal on now we just I'm just going to quickly exit this and just quickly make a emission just so we can properly see what we are doing so as you can see here we have made the bump mapping the specular and the normal mapping now also what about alpha texturing well alpha texturing is very simple very simple indeed. Uh, let's just create a plane. I'm just going to slap on a leaf texture. So, favorite new. Uh, let's go to diffuse. We're going to. I'm going to load up my image texture of my leaf. Next, to add the alpha, we're going to go to the opacity, and we're going to click on alpha image. We're then going to go to our file. 
we are then going to quickly just change we're going to uh, just turn that around refresh and BAM there is a alpha image in its glory as you can see it's showing a shadow and everything so that's pretty much the uh, image based texturing within Maya of Octane Render it follows the same procedure as Octane Render but just to show you where the buttons are in the next tutorial we'll be learning how to use the generators within Octane Render which is very simple and very easy thanks for watching